ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dope Interview on Dope TV. Yes, this is where we bring your favorite celebrities. We're going to talk about their personal life, their career, every single thing you want to know about them. And today I have my guests, <laughs> guests already in the studio. And don't forget, I am your number one TV god, Richard Bolakale on Non-Tech. After the short break, I'm going to be unveiling who my guests are. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back here. Yes, this is a dope interview on Dope TV, and today I have my guest already in the studio. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with me to the studio. I kill Bona and Nikki Fondo. Oh shit, which is that one again? I just found it. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Wow, thank you for coming to the studio. Yeah, what well, you know? Well, I'm fine. I, what, what's this? I can't sort of. Excess luggage, what's going on? Tell me. Excess luggage, everywhere you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know, I know there's a movie coming out. I've, I've been hearing about the boss, I've been seeing everything about social media. So what, what's Excess luggage? Tell me about it. Nikki, I don't know. <laughs> 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 Let me go first. Oh, okay. Excess luggage is a, a new movie coming up on 20th of October. I can I watch on that one anytime. It's something everybody should watch. Wow. Oh, well, you like it? Well, what do you think? Well, you should do all the, the, the right. screening yesterday, yes, right? Yeah, that so, was very cool, yeah. Um, it's a movie that sheds light on um, family issues, negligence in family, and how it affects mm -hmm. the deep roots of family, what family should be all about. But we just try to use comic, uh, comical way to tell the story. Yeah. And um, as much as it's our production, something that we, we are very proud of, but I'm even happier that, you know, the reaction from people yesterday in the cinema was, was electric. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm sure you will really react really because a lot of people came through yeah. 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 Exactly. So it was supposed to be a, a private screen, just very few people yeah. wanted the press and few people. But my phone was buzzing, and you know, a lot of people are very angry that. Um, so I'm very sorry to everyone that I didn't invite and she didn't invite. The small thing can be. But that that, that one place is it looked more eager. How people came in and well, tell me, let, let's start. How are you able to put that pull up that um character? She, First time I shared the idea with Nikki, I was going to play Andrew. You know, that's the kind of really played. I was going to play something different that nobody oh. had to me. So, have a feminine aspect to characterization. And then, are, you, are you sure you, you don't? Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm an actor, yeah. And yeah. I can pull up any character given to me. That's, that's my belief. Mm. You know, so I was. Actually, thinking of playing the Andrew character, and then we had castings for particular other roles. But as God so has it, God plans different, you know. Yeah. So you're planning A, and God is planning B for yeah. you because He knows better. And we get on set, on set we discuss with the director, Danny Drake Young, and um, the cinematographer, um, of which called Oracle, Oracle, and they did a wonderful job with yeah. that with me. And you know, they're like, why don't you play A in Naya? Yeah. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So even this was a I told you something about playing Andrew. Mm -hmm. I said Andrew would look funny on you because yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so had this big yeah, side and the old. I know. I don't think that, that was costuming. Yeah, I know. Shout out to classic, yeah. um, classic makeup work. Makeup you know, yeah, job. And one Eka, one Eka was a costume artist. So these people were were basically in charge of. Transforming these characters to look the way they did with the wonderful job. So, Nikki, I saw your little um, connection yesterday when I was watching the movie. Oh, did How did you get able to build that? And are you sure so they are not as weird or something? Question between Nikki and Mike. Nikki and Mike, Mike or. or and, yeah, Nikki and Mike, rather. How were you able to build that? Oh, Mike has been a friend. Oh, we'll for you. <laughs> Mike has been my friend for a long time. It's just like putting Ike and I and said that there'll be a connection because we're very good friends and Ike is more like a brother to me. so that's how Mike is to me too. He's a very good friend and I'm just used to being with him and my husband and also. This is, this is yeah. first production together. Yeah. I can, I can. So are we, are we expecting more? Well, um, let the first one pan out. Uh, <laughs> let's see how it goes. It's coming out October 20th. 20th, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's two days to go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. a lot of people came, a lot of people came, guys, a lot of people came yesterday to actually um, share you guys up and say hello, hey, wonderful now and everything. And then, um, a lot of reaction from people. Yeah. Tell me. Let's start from Sonia. So yeah, I actually personally, I personally interviewed Sonia. Okay. She was very, 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 very happy, and I'm sure she's going to go to her blog to write about it. Because well, she, she writes about it. Sonia, Sonia, Sonia is my support system, and eighty um, percent of who I am today, I owe it to my wife. Because um, without that support, that that stable mental balance, you really nobody. You know, you can work very hard, but if 
you don't have peace in your home. Everything mm. you work for is down to zero. Mm. You know, and I work for my family. You know, I don't for myself. I work to make my family happy. But wait, wait, wait. I think you to do it because before before you guys got married, they don't say, "Okay, I can go down like it's jigolo." Nobody knows I can go down till you get close to him. Mm. You know, so are you telling me the people that know I could is just the Alex, your me? People that come close to me because you all we only have your perception from afar. I say I can do it. I say it a lot. Well, why? I tell them that like yeah. I just don't like him. I was like, I can you know, I never liked him from afar. I was surprised, you know, when you said this. Because it's true, it looks like when I saw my story, I was like, I don't say it, I have a conversation to you. That is it, she's like I hated you for no reason. <laughs> like I would see her like So the only thing that I think is you used to bounce if you only my Alex that yeah. working it bounces more than even Alex. Like, I just think it's um the way I look, I hardly smile, um I keep into my personal space. Why, why, why did you do that? Why did you do that? I don't know. Um I said it in some interview, um I was a samurai because so I was like fifteen, I could not talk. It's still the summer. Yeah. Wait until you see I can get upset. You can't even say anything. Many times you're upset like that. Yeah, you come down. So I, I couldn't talk wow. to save my life. You know, and my dad was the one actually talked me through it. And I started working on myself. People that see me on TV these days are surprised. You know, so I, I, I grew into a personal space I created for myself. I started telling myself stories in my head, into my own space, making very few friends. Um, you know, I'm actually the A N L guy. I want, I'm, I'm free. So, like, you saw the real I K yesterday, not the two yeah, ones. Yeah, you saw a little bit of the. Uh, a part, yeah, I think that's part. a real I K. That's more like the real I K. I'm sure we're going to see more. <laughs> more, yeah, yeah, more of it. Um, I'm, I'm really against the whole stereotype in the industry. Yeah, they yeah. Nikki played a fabulous role as Bianca. I'm sure the next show will want, want to give highest. Come and play. Because I was supposed to be the first time. I was supposed to be the first time. But now, when they see this movie, they want to come and say, they come and play this. I already got a script for it, like a week advice. I was talking to Agon Wale with you yesterday, and I was telling him that I was happy for you because, like, now you're out of that zone of stereotyping. It's been stereotyped as the fine boy, Jukolo. Tell me, tell me about that. Well, um, I'm really um, with the school of thought that an actor is a person that steps out of his, his, his comfort zone to play a character, whatever character it is. And I didn't go to the school of acting. I, I took YouTube classes. I paid for online courses in acting, you know, and I tried to enhance myself as an actor. When I started acting, I mean, we were done talking about it. A lot of people who were at the school that I was a whack actor and saw this fine boy that come out. You know, you know, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And um, criticism for me was never a yardstick to, um, to judge, for me to judge and condemn myself, but it was actually a yardstick for me to work on myself. And it, I think it really helped me become a better, better actor. And then I started working on myself, and the awards started coming in, and you know. Yeah. So I'm sure you could, I'm, I'm open to play any, any character, yeah. whatever it is. I would do my research, talk with the director, and try to pull it out. Yeah. Right, let's talk about the. Um, there is this whole saga of uh, marriages breaking in the industry. Whole celebrity and everything. Yeah. I everyone asking the same question. Like, no, no, because <laughs> it's actually. It's 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 right? Yes, it's true. Like, it must yeah. not be, yeah. be starting. Yeah. Just everything is off. Like, tell me, are you, are you, are you scared that maybe you and Sonia will leave? Well, for me, you know, no one knows what tomorrow holds, but you go into, just like you leave your house to work, you don't know if you're going to crash on the road, you just know you're going to work. So you don't know that, and you're not sure that maybe tomorrow you just wake up with Sonia. Personally, I married a woman that is my best friend, a woman that I know I can walk the mile with, you know. Um, When I sit back and look at marriages crashing, and I try to judge it from my my own perspective, I think a lot of things that are contributing to it. Human beings are a product of the things you hear, the things you read, the things you see. Your subconscious owns you more than you own yourself. You know, that part of you that receives message that you don't see owns and controls the physical being. Now, when when you sit down at home and put on the TV stations and you listen to music, promotion of sex, um, drugs, and alcohol, that's all you see. Music videos, you know, you had these people promote love. One of the days where you had the, um, when you're calling, you want to say, let there be peace, you know, home is peace, you know. But we actually refrain. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. You know, and all those songs, as simple as it sounded, 
by those things that formed the society of that time. But now we have things that promote violence. And then the social media is playing a very strong factor in breaking homes. Making it easier. Yeah, because something happens, you go on social media, oh, my wife just did this, my brother just did this. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Sonia writes a lot about your marriage on her blog. Not my marriage, she, she, she writes about it yeah, because she, she, she spends her time on, on social media. So when she picks something, she puts herself in that position and writes about it. Yeah. Well, what, what do you think about that? So, so thank you. Um, Sonia is also a friend of mine, and I think that most times she t- tries to be in people's situations. The way you're talking to her about something, she puts herself in that same situation and attacks her from there. So sometimes she's not really writing about marriage, she's writing to teach people. Whatever marriage is breaking, what do you think about that? Uh, basically, uh, like we're all humans and we have rights to different things. I think if we try to be more patient and understanding, marriages will work. So it doesn't have to be either. If be it celebrities' marriages or every other marriage has issues, not only celebrities' marriages. But it's just that they put it out there for the world to see because they are celebrities. And my 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 my, my personal advice is, you know, you met your wife and toasted her alone. Nobody was there with you. When you're in your room with your wife, it's you and your wife. Nobody is there with you. You cannot go and cry to your father, your mother, your friends and expect them to understand things from your own standpoint because when you're fighting with your wife, it's only your wife that sees what's happening. You know her better than any other person. So when you throw things out there, you expose yourself to comments that will affect your subconscious. And when your subconscious is affected, you you now make decisions based on what people want you to decide, not what you want to decide. Yeah. So I think people should actually really work on that. And then lastly, the other thing that people should really work on is when you're angry, when you're angry, don't make decisions. When you're angry, do not try to resolve situations. Okay, didn't tell me angry. Um, I mean, you and Sonia have some What do you do? Sonia and I have a pact. Her job is to make me happy, regardless. I don't care how she does it. But her job is to make me happy. My job is to make her happy. So every time I see her sad, no matter what it is, I don't try to wear the captain's heart. I know I'm feeling in some way. So I try to figure out how I'm feeling and fix it. When I'm angry, he won't come to start saying, oh, you did this, you did this. She'll be like, okay, that means I'm not doing something like, what am I doing wrong? So when I now tell you, you did this particular thing, don't try to start explaining yourself or or whatever you did hurt me, affected my feelings. I'm not happy about it. So she, in her own way, tries to fix it. And in my own way, I try to fix it. You know, you, 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 let's 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 pause a little bit. Let's pause a little bit. Let's still talking about Sonia. You left Nigeria, you left Africa. I didn't do nothing. No, no, no. I said like, mm, like calm down. Let me. So you left Nigeria, you left Africa, and you went out to. What happened to Nigeria these days? What happened? Well, you seen it like I left something, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, we, have, we have a whole lot of ladies you're, you're here. You want me, right? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you are created in God's image and likeness. You too, also, yeah. The same way you were born, the same way a Christian was born, the same way a Muslim was born, the same way an Australian was born. And then, I know we all died the same way. No, no, seriously. It's, it's serious stuff because it sounds like a joke, but a lot of people are with that subconscious out there and they're watching it. You get, a lot of people are, are leaving happiness to settle for cultural norms. Your culture states that you should marry a person from your village. Now, we're looking at it as I married a Colombian. But do you know, even in the Igbo culture, some people don't want their children to marry somebody from the next village? Yeah. You get Even in Nigeria, because of the civil war, an Igbo man is saying, my, my daughter can never marry a house man. What about to the fact that we're all created as God in God's image and likeness? And the fact that what should really matter is love. So many people are married today and are not happy in their marriage homes. Yeah. There's some people that would say, oh, they were, they, were, they, were, they were actually yeah. married, they were actually married in childbed. The parents had already joined this to put together. And they now meet and they just get married. They're not happy in their homes. So what's the, what's the, what's the yeah. essence but of marriage? Why would you get married? And, and, I don't understand. You're married and you're not happy and you can't leave because we're Africans and when you're that, that you can leave, you, <laughs> you have like to just leave yeah. there, die there. So we're like, we're not, right now, we need to go against the norm. We don't need to follow the norm. No, the I just same. think love should be seen in the next human being. Mm-hmm. Regardless of the skin color or whatever it is. If you see love in the next person, go for it. 
And, and when we say love, we mean unconditional love. Because that's the only love that can that stay like forever, no, come what may. Because if you really love someone from the inside and you're not loving for one or two reasons, no matter what the person does to you, you can take it and forgive. And once that's forgiven, you know, there was something I was preaching some time ago, yeah? Human um, beings are like shapes triangle, square, rectangle, circle, you know. Now, if you are a square and you made a circle, it does not mean that your shape is bad or the circle is bad. Two beautiful shapes that will look beautiful in different situations. But if you come together, there will be holes of water to pass through. But the circle means a circle. That's why you meet girlfriends in your way to finding your wife. So how many do you break up? And the next thing... So how many do we count? I'll get it. How many do you count? I'll get it. Let's pass it. How many girlfriends do we break up? I'll get it. I'll get it. Don't cut me up. No, no. No, you continue. I can. No. How many do you... Wait, wait. I'm very stubborn. No, 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 no. Guys. I will finish what I was saying before I go into that. I get very stubborn. What I was saying... What I was saying is this. When you meet the wrong shape, you will leave holes for water to come in. But when you meet the right shape, there's no mean that this shape or that shape was bad. It just means that you're not meant to each other. Now, coming to your question... How many girlfriends have I met before I met my wife? Okay. 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 Okay.
resources. I will mention to the celebrities and you tell me where you prefer. Okay. And you get out. You won't be doing like bring it on that you have to explain it. Get it once and for all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Alright, so um between Genevieve and Ruth Dominic, what do you prefer? Why? I don't know, I just think um, there's something about her. You know, Jennifer is a beautiful lady, wonderful actress, but every man wants to be with Jennifer. Love you, sing, do this, what have But for me, Rita has, um, I've seen Rita in different characters, all kinds of characters. Yeah, so, I'll just be. What about you? Jenny or Rita? That's his question. I'm not asking her. 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 i am not he picked Rita, I picked Jennifer. No, 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 no. This, this is your question. No, that, I, <laughs> same excess luggage here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why, but tell me, why Jennifer? You said Jennifer. Um, I picked Jennifer because I actually preferred the two of them, and then you made him pick one, and so I had to pick the other, so. No, you should pick anybody. I said some, somebody you prefer because I said. No, but then again, I prefer the two, and you forced me to pick one. I didn't force you. <laughs> you force I didn't force you. Like, no, you have to pick one. You have to pick one. I didn't force you. Yeah. Right, okay, so we're doing this. Calm down, calm down. I didn't force anybody. I mean, he isn't. Yeah, I mean, he isn't. I didn't force yeah. anybody. <laughs> oh. All right, okay, so we're doing um, Ramsey one, and then that's one earlier. Who do you prefer? You, before you answer now, you you say your own two. I already know my answer. Once again, both of them. But since I've been forced, I mean, why you been with the guy? My, my gum, I gum point I to one person. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is going here. I'll go with Desmond because Desmond has shown himself as an actor, a director, a politician, a friend, a brother, a father. Well, I'm just a friend, a mentor, so I need to respect wonderful actor. Yeah. Yeah, it's because I'm on a gold point, you know. No, you know. This is any good year. This is a gentleman. Yeah, but, but you guys can see because Which God? it's behind the camera. We can see the camera. Come on, this one around. So tell me, tell me. We say round, round, and that's one. Who do you pick? That's one. Why that's one? Because he's a big brother to me. Mm-hmm. And he was, yes. He's like a big brother to me. Okay. And, um, he's a very, very nice person. Ramses is a fantastic actor, but always love Ramses while growing up in Harvard. That's my favorite. What about, okay, last, last one. Between Tonto Ricky and Ruki Sala, what do you prefer? That's pretty. Uh, yes, it's Can I pick two? No. no. I have two. Can I pick, pick one? Let's pick one. Ikeruki. 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 Is anybody wearing the Oh, Tom 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 Ladies and gentlemen, they're trying to be very diplomatic. <laughs> and you know, I know they're trying to be very, um, they are doing this one. All right, so then let's leave that. Let's leave that. Just make sure you relax and don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with the action. Oh my god, we're gonna be acting. Yeah. <laughs> so you play the role, you uh, <laughs> 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 so he's playing that role in Nessus Luggage. And yeah, she's the mother, yeah. yeah. And um, are you, are you ready? I've been ready since this year. Camera. Camera, okay, so. Uh, and um, action! Bacon, Kevin, I said. Okay, Kevin, 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 Kevin,
www.tv.ng and make sure you follow them all over social media and those at TV ng and make sure you follow me on Instagram at Tono Dekor Richard you're a Instagram uh, I-K-O-B-O-N-A I-K-O-G-B-O-N-N-A and always don't forget to hashtag excess luggage in your yes, posts yeah. and reports uh, how about you Nikki? same here at Nikki U N-I-K-K-Y-U hashtag excess luggage nice one alright guys so see like coming away next time see like coming away next time make sure you watch movies we can't support it and stay dope. Let's just get like stay dope. Yeah, stay dope. 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 Stay dope.